Hello out there, my name is Milesy and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you X Stitch Markup by Ursa Software. Now these are the same people who made Max Stitch and Win Stitch and a few other pieces of software that you might have heard of. I've actually been trying Win Stitch recently and I will be doing videos on that in the future, but for now, this is their iOS app. They unfortunately don't have it for Android. So hopefully they will soon though, but this is not a design software. This software allows you to unclutter your hobby a little bit. That's what I've been using it for. No longer using paper patterns because they create a huge amount of waste. They create a huge mess. They're just difficult to use in every way. This replaces that and you can have all of your patterns on here as much as your hard drive or whatever, your flash drive, whatever kind of drive iPads use, I should know this but I don't, whatever your storage allows you to have, you can put on there. Now, we have the instructions which is just a built-in PC or PDF manual that will show you how to uh, use the whole thing. But let's go ahead and look at our charts. Now it comes with a few preloaded and we can see that some are in motif file or format and some are in chart format and chart is the default file format that winstitch uses now you can also load your own on here so here's one that i've been working on and i've been slowly working on marking off where i've been and it's taking a while just because this is i've got a lot done on paper i want to get that marked off before i keep going with it just so that i don't get confused now let's actually take a look at this and this is why i recommend a stylus for this uh, i have this really fancy one where you have the blunt tip on the end and the sharper more precise tip on this end and i just marked something didn't want to do that but we can go ahead and show you how this works right now so in a little bit i'll show you how to put your files onto your ipad because it's a little bit different unfortunately you can't just go onto etsy from your ipad buy the pattern and load it in here because you can't load pdfs unfortunately uh, it has to be either a win stitch file or it can read certain PC stitch files. Not all of them. It has to be a legacy file, although it will read all win stitch files. So we have over here is our palette of colors. We can select all palettes or we can highlight individual ones. So try to find a color where we might actually see one here or we can just zoom out and it has these zoom buttons over here so let's see where's a color that we might have a lot of some pink unfortunately it doesn't really show us what the usage is I kind of wish that it did there we go so here we go I, I whatever that one is that I just selected we can see a whole bunch of that. We can see some down here. Whatever that is, we can see it. So it acts in that regard, just like the highlight uh, color on both PC Stitch and Win Stitch. So you can see that. Now what I really like is we'll come up here and just click on all colors and that will display all of them. So now we have down here, we can display it by block, by symbols. So if we tap on that if it wants to work there we go it's this pattern is kind of big so it really slows it down and I've got a bunch of other stuff running in the background so we can select it to show the color blocks the symbols or symbols over color whereas this just marks it as both and if we zoom in a few times we can see that now one thing that is a little um confusing i think is that while you can kind of pinch to zoom you can't drag it around on this one you do have to use the navigator 
over here. And I will be right back because I need to fix this lag. There we go. Don't have Stardew Valley and Procreate running in the background while you're uh, doing this. As we can see now, it's going much more smoothly. So you can't drag around your main area here. You do have to use the navigator over here to kind of zoom around, which for me takes a little bit of time to get used to. It's a little odd. Now, what I really like is that we can come up here and we have mark, erase, and clear. Mark just marks stitches as complete, which if I draw here, you can kind of start to see them. It's going kind of slowly. Let's use the more preci precise tip. It's trying to show a lot at once. It doesn't really like this pattern. It's a little too big, but you can mark stitches as you do them. You can erase stitches if you didn't mean to mark them and it retains the color underneath. You don't change anything, you're just marking it. Or you can hit clear and clear off all of the marks that you've done. I don't want to do that, so I'm going to select no. And there we go. It's just a really nifty little thing that kind of exactly just gets rid of all your paper waste. Now, let's go back here and just take a look at the settings. You can, you can toggle your grid lines and you can change the colors. So your thin color can be any one of these four. Your thick color can be any one of these four. You can do lines every five, every 10, and interestingly enough, every 14 and 18 stitches. So if you're stitching in 14 count or 18 count, you can mark off every inch, which I think is kind of interesting. I've never seen that before. So just kind of a fun little thing. Now, one thing, a couple things I do want to point out is that you do, it does use wind stitches, uh, symbol set. And I don't know if you can change that. I know you can change the symbols within wind stitch. Um, I just haven't looked into doing that yet because I'm still running the demo and I don't think I can, but it does have that, which is, it's a little bit different to get used to if you're used to PC stitches, uh, format. It's kind of nice. It could be a little faster. Like I said, it does really get bogged down with these really big patterns. It's not this slow. If you use smaller patterns, this one is how much is, this one is enormous. I don't actually know the dimensions because it doesn't give you that information. It doesn't give you any of the pattern information. It doesn't tell you how many colors of each stitch. You don't get your stitch usage. It does tell you the percentage that you've completed, which is really cool. Another thing is that the symbols are all or the colors are all listed numerically which is nice i do like that um however i can't sort it to go by usage which sometimes when i'm doing certain projects i do want to sort by usage i don't do that often though so i wish you could do that i wish there was a little bit more control over the grid. Like I would like, instead of having colored lines, I would like to have thinner lines and bold lines. The blue kind of throws me off a little bit, which is a little weird. I wish you could change the symbols or if you can, I'm not sure, but that would be a little bit nicer. And like I said, it is kind of slow and sluggish with these really big patterns. It really doesn't like it. You can see, the latency as I'm dragging my pen over. It just doesn't quite go as nicely as it could. I would like to see that behave a little bit better, but for what it does, uh, pretty much replacing all of your paper, that is really, really nice. Uh, another thing I wish it had was a fill tool. I wish there was a tool that you could just say, okay, now fill in all of this area where I've marked this off, just click here and fill that all in, all of this blue contiguously. That would be cool. I wish it had that. 
And I do wish it was a little bit easier to get your files on here because here's the catch. You do need iTunes. So let's jump over there and I will show you how to do that. Okay, so here we are in iTunes. So you're going to go over here to file sharing and then it's a little bit broken for some reason, but that's fine. And you're going to click on X XS markup, which is already here. And you can see the ones that I already have installed. Now you can't just dump your pat folders in here or your pat files. If you have a stitch file, you can just dump it all in there. It will be fine. But for the pat files, you have to use legacy files. So we're going to come in here and I closed out my folder like a derp. Come back. So we're going to go over here to patterns, not that, patterns, and just find some stuff that we want to stitch. So let's say we want to stitch Howling Wolves. So I'm going to drop that into here and open it up and move this out of the way real quick. And we can see our pattern file here that was made with PC Stitch. If you're using Win Stitch or Max Stitch, you can skip this step. But for PC Stitch, we have to do this. Now we're going to go to File, Export to PC, PC Stitch 7 file. And we're going to just save it in the same thing. So Howling Wolves PC Stitch 7 dot pat, save. And it might throw a dialogue asking if you are sure you want to do that. If it does, click OK. I've told it to stop showing me that though. So now we're going to go back to iTunes and we have our uh, PC Stitch 7 file and we're just going to drop that in there. There we go. And hit sync. And then over here, we'll just close out of PC Stitch thing or not PC Stitch, X Stitch markup. Come back, open a chart, and we have our Howling Wolves in our enormous list. It does by default zoom in super close sometimes. Um, however, like I've said, my patterns are always enormous, so it does get a little grumpy with them. That's fine. I might have zoomed out the most that I can zoom out. And there you go. You can now take your pattern anywhere that you're taking your stitching. No more paper, no more highlighters, no more garbage everywhere. You've just got your self-contained little pattern right here. Super nice. I've been in love with this app. I've, uh, I started using this because I didn't want to take a huge clipboard full of stuff into Portland and just kind of fell in love. So. If you're looking for a way to get away from paper and you have an Apple device, this is a great little, uh, great little app. Unfortunately, it's not on Android. I don't know if there are any plans for it to be on Android, but highly recommend this app. And if you do get this app and you have any of my patterns, whether they are purchased or free, and you want to be able to use those patterns in this app, send me an email. Let me know um, if you have purchased it, just if you have, if you still have the receipt from when you purchased it, uh, include that so that I know who you are and that you did actually purchase it. And I will go ahead and send you the legacy file or uh, if I am able to or once I am able to afford the license for Winstitch, which I just can't afford right now because it's expensive, I'll send you the uh, Stitch files so that you, we don't even have to deal with the legacy version. Either way, you will get a file that you can drop into your iPad and use just like that. So, lovely little app. You can see how much I've been using this by all of the stuff that I have on here. So. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, all that fun stuff. And I will see you guys uh, later. Next time. I will see you guys next time. I'm tired. Bye.